good morning welcome shem stars today we are starting chapter number 9 biomolecules in biomolecules we will study chemical composition of biomolecules and different types of biomolecules in this video we are focusing on what are biomolecules and how to analyze biomolecules there is a wide variety in living organisms in our biosphere now a question that arises in our minds is are all living organisms made up of same chemicals that is elements and compounds studies reveal that all the organisms are made up of biomolecules biomolecules are organic molecules especially macromolecules like carbohydrates proteins in living organisms all living forms of life are made up of similar macromolecules that are responsible for life so all forms of life are composed of biomolecules only biomolecules are molecules that occur naturally in living organisms biomolecules consist mainly of carbon hydrogen with nitrogen oxygen sulfur and phosphorus biomolecules include macromolecules like proteins carbohydrates lipids and nucleic acids but it also includes small molecules like primary and secondary metabolites like natural products biomolecules are very large molecules of many atoms that are covalently bound together all of our biomolecules are classified into four groups carbohydrates lipids proteins and nucleic acids each of these classes have different structures and functions which we will be studying in this chapter now let's talk about how to analyze chemical composition of biomolecules we will take any piece of living tissue a vegetable or piece of liver grind it in trichloroacetic acid using a pestle and mortar obtain a thick slurry strain the slurry through a muslin cloth or cotton we will filter slurry with the help of cotton and obtain two fractions one is called filtrate or more technically we call it acid soluble pool and the second that is the acid insoluble fraction which will remain in the cotton thousands of organic compounds biomolecules is present in the acid soluble pool acid insoluble fractions that is macromolecular fraction contains biomolecules example proteins nucleic acids lipids etc various separation techniques are used to separate these organic compounds all the carbon compounds that we get from living tissues can be called biomolecules living organisms have also got inorganic elements and compounds in them in higher classes you will learn about how to analyze a living tissue sample and identify a particular organic compound There is one feature common to all those compounds found in the acid soluble pool they have molecular weights ranging from 18 to around 800 daltons approximately the acid insoluble fractions has only four types of organic compounds proteins nucleic acids polysaccharides and lipids this slide shows a comparison of elements present in non living and living matters first column is of elements for example hydrogen carbon oxygen nitrogen and sulfur the second column shows percentage weight of earth crust and in human body for example the percentage of hydrogen on earth crust 0.14% in human body it is 0.5% and if we talk about carbon it is 0.03% in earth crust whereas in human body 18.5% by weight The another table shows a list of representative inorganic constituents of living tissues sodium potassium calcium magnesium water and other compounds so children this is all about biomolecules what are biomolecules and how to analyze chemical composition i hope you must have understood in the next video we will talk about the major types of biomolecules one by one Thank you Shem Stars that's all for today you can drop your queries on Google Classroom take care